Granddaddy, Granddaddy of all quantum weirdness, the infamous double slit experiment. To understand this experiment, we first need infamous double slit experiments or little balls of matter act. If we randomly shoot a small object, say a marble, at the screen, we see a pattern on the back wall where they went through the slit and hit. Now, if we add a second slit, we would expect to see a second band duplicated to the right. Now, let's look at waves. The waves hit the slit and radiate out so, over here, we can check when only one slit is there. Striking the back wall when only one slit is there. And then we are going to hire bullets. That is a band band. Is it right? Now check waves. Again the same result like marbles. When we add the second slit, Something different happens. If the top of one wave meets the bottom of another wave, they cancel each other out. But when we are going to add so now, two slaves, then waves. On the back wall. See, this is interference of light. This is interference of light. Intensity, the bright lines, and where they cancel, there is nothing. So, when the same thing will happen. In case of interference of light, we get this: two bands of hits, and with waves, we get an interference pattern of many bands. So interference of light ensures that light is in form of waves and not in form of particles. An electron is a tiny, tiny bit of matter, like a tiny marble. Let's fire a screen through one slit. It behaves just like the marble, a single band. So, if we shoot these tiny bits through two slits, we should get, like the marbles, two bands. What? An interference pattern. We fired electrons, tiny bits of matter, through. But we get a pattern like waves. Not like little marbles. How? How could pieces of matter create an interference pattern like a wave? It doesn't make sense. But physicists are clever. They thought maybe those little balls are bouncing off each other and creating that pattern. So they decide to shoot electrons through one at a time. There is no way they could interfere with each other. But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. The conclusion is inescapable. The single electron leaves as a part of the then same thing that we also interferes. That is, there is interference of light because of electrons also. It's even stranger. It goes through both slits and it goes through neither. And it goes through just one and it goes through just the other. All of these possibilities are in superposition with each other. But physicists were completely baffled by this. So they decided to peek and see which slit it actually goes through. They put a measuring device by one slit to see which one it went through and let it fly. <laughs> but the quantum world is far more mysterious than they could have imagined. When they observed, the electron went back to behaving like a little marble. It produced a pattern of two bands, not an interference pattern of many. The very act of measuring or observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one, not both. The electron decided to act differently, as though it was aware it was being watched. And it was here that physicists stepped forever into the strange never world of quantum events. What is matter? Marbles or waves? And waves of what? <laughs>